Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Mary Dunstan. And I'm Cameron Ojas. Thank you for tuning in. But before we get to our show, here are a couple of announcements. The District 38 College Fair Night is Wednesday, October 24th from 6 to 7 p.m. at Lewis Palmer High School. Come and meet in-state and out-of-state representatives. Do you want to breathe underwater? Sign up for a Try Scuba Session. Pool sessions to try scuba and scuba equipment will be held at discounted rate for uh, only $15 at Palmer, for Palmer Ridge students. Sessions will be held in the pool at Underwater Connections in Colorado Springs. Give scuba a try one of these dates at, from 6 to 8 p.m. on Wednesday, October 24th, Thursday, October 25th, or Friday, October 26th. To sign up and get a liability form, please see Ms. Dunn or Ms. Wall in Neighborhood A. Seniors, does your family need help filling out financial aid forms? District 38 is hosting FAFSA night at, on November 1st at PRHS from 5.30 to 7.30. Sign up with Mrs. Wall in Neighborhood A by October 31st or RSVP and learn what materials to bring that night to complete your application. All juniors are required to attend school and report to the auditorium during their off period on Tuesday, October 23rd or Wednesday, October 24th to discuss their practice SAT results along with their junior ICAP lesson. These dates are regular school days with the assessment period being utilized to not interrupt regular classroom instruction. Attendance is mandatory and will be taken at the beginning of each period. Juniors are expected to be in the auditorium on time. You don't see motorcycles often around Monument. Well, Garrett revved up and checked out the Motorcycle Museum. Hello and welcome. I am Garrett Brighting and today I'm at the Motorcycle Museum in Colorado Springs, which is a nonprofit museum. It is located at the Harley Davidson dealership in the Springs, above the dealership. It is totally free. They have a bike from 1914 to the 2000s. Indians to World War II military bikes. Um, so Jim Weir, our executive director, um, he has started this motorcycle museum from the scratch or from the beginning um, with uh, just owning just a couple of his own bikes and then started to collect more and more through going to auctions and different things like that to be able to establish what we know as today um, the Rocky Mountain Motorcycle Museum. And trail bikes. Also, they have a whole wall dedicated to motorcycle collectibles and memorabilia. For the glory of Ridgeline, this is Garrett Brighting. Thanks, Garrett, for that inside look at the Motorcycle Museum. Colorado is a very fit and active state, and Palmer Ridge sure is proud of it. Gabe took a glimpse of one of the most unique clubs, rock climbing. Palmer Ridge is known for its sports, but we're also home to a group of avid rock climbers. Rock climbing is a staple of Colorado culture. And with PR's Climbing Club, students of all experience levels can come and learn how to progress in this fun sport. Many students enjoy this as opposed to the other sports in PR due to the low pressure, welcoming environment. Well, it kind of, it relieves my stress a lot, especially when my mom's a little mad at me. I get, it gets me out of the house, keeps me in shape for baseball season. Students participate in bouldering, more technical shorter routes, and in wall climbing, a test of endurance. Students can also opt to compete with other high schoolers from around the area in frequent competitions. If you're interested, Rock Climbing Club meets at City Rock in downtown Colorado Springs every Thursday. For Ridgeline, I'm Gabe Jensen. This club has just been climbing with popularity lately. Thanks for that rock hard look, Gabe. Miguel explored the opportunity offered by Palmer Lake Fire Department, which would help anyone who has a burning passion for firefighting and other high pressure jobs. The Palmer Lake Fire Department offers an Explorers program, which provides insights to those interested in taking a career in medical, firefighting, or just high pressure jobs. The Palmer Lake Fire Department Explorers program is all about developing and spreading the skills needed to grow more capable students. This program provides volunteers the opportunity to learn teamwork and leadership skills that will surely be useful as they prepare for their future. Um, it's a good way to serve your community and learn, learn new opportunities. We're able to give people training and new experiences that you simply can't get anywhere else. Some of our students here at Palmer Ridge are in this program and are working with other firefighters, responding to calls with the aim to make a better, safer environment for the public. Through doing drills and different techniques, it's really given me a broad spectrum of everything, not only in the medical field, but in the firefighting world as well. 
Anyone interested in pursuing a medical or firefighting career, or just those looking for an experience not found elsewhere, head to the Palmer Lake Fire Department and volunteer for the Explorers Program. You're not going to regret it. For Urgeline, this is Miguel McElintal. Anyone looking for a unique experience should take a look at the Explorers Program. Contact the Palmer Lake Fire Department for more info. Cameron recently attended the Empty Bowl Dinner to see just how much Tri Lakes cares. Annually, the Monument Hill Kiwanis Club gets together to host a Empty Bowl Dinner and Silent Auction to benefit Tri Lakes Cares. At the beginning of the event, you got to pick your own empty bowl made by local artists and ceramics. And then there was a silent auction taking place after that and as well as some tasty treats and even the Lewis Palmer Middle School Band. This is our annual Empty Bowls event to benefit Tri Lakes Cares and the proceeds from tonight's event will benefit the Tri Lakes Cares community service programs. For Ridgeline, this is Cameron O'Jones. Thanks Cameron for demonstrating Tri Lakes Cares' big heart towards the less fortunate in our community. We have had some really cold weather lately, but let's check with Mary to see if there are any changes we can expect. Good morning, Bears. I'm your weather woman, Mary. We've been having some cooler weather lately, but this week is going to warm up a bit more. If we look at the radar, we can see some precipitation over the southeastern area of Colorado. Later in the week, this may move over us, so we might have some rain on Wednesday. Let's go to the five day. This week is going to start out sunny with temperatures in the 70s. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be cloudy with a chance of rain. We will end the week with some sunny weather and temperatures in the mid-70s. Well, Bears, that's all I have for you. Remember, to make it back to the sunshine of summer, you must first weather through this week. Back to you, Cameron. Thanks for this week's forecast, Mary. And that's our show for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you back here next week. Thank you.